Sean Roden, aka Flexatron, was a legendary figure in the bodybuilding field, having gone from soccer in high school to being a professional bodybuilder. The IFBB Pro has competed in a number of tournaments and has served as an inspiration to a number of competitors. His life has been a roller coaster ride of emotions, though, since he had an extremely painful back injury in 1993 and the death of his father in 2002. Sean was born in Kingston, Jamaica, and grew up to be a highly sporty young man, participating in cricket and soccer whenever he had the opportunity. He was on the other hand physically underdeveloped for his age and began to feel dissatisfied with his appearance. It was in 1919 when Sean and his family decided to relocate to the United States. Sean wanted to find something to cling on to when he was thrown into the unknown without any companions and he discovered his love for bodybuilding. A couple of years later, at the age of 17, his interest in bodybuilding had expanded to the point that he began attending bodybuilding classes to increase size and strength. Sean's fitness adventure started at this time, in 1992, when he was a teenager. Sean finally met Universe winner Yoni Schomburger the following year, who supported him and pointed him in the direction of professional bodybuilding. Flexatron was motivated by this encounter and he ramped up his efforts to get his ideal physique. So, at age of 24, Sean has developed a fearsome body and was nearly ready to compete in his first tournament, which took place seven years later. However, tragedy struck when he was injured in a gym accident in 1993, resulting in the tearing of nine ligaments in his right hand. Sean may have been sidelined for months or perhaps years as a result of this accident, but he refused to give up. Despite the physician's recommendations, he persisted in his efforts to fulfill his ambition of being a professional bodybuilder. Sean joined his first competition at the age of 21 after years of intense preparation, the 1996 National Eastern Classic in New Jersey, and came away with first place. Sean was able to take home the award with the help of Yoni Schamberger's skilled supervision and direction. Flexatron, on the other hand, did not get all positive news. During the same season, he had a back injury, which required him to miss six months of action. Following his recovery from his back injury, Sean wasted no time in getting back into the gym and joining the 1997 Mid-Atlantic National bodybuilding championship, which he won. Sean made a tremendous return and won the Posers Award for his stage show, as well as taking second place in the overall competition. Unfortunately for the Flexatron, just as things were beginning to look better for him, his whole world was flipped upside down. Sean's father died away in 2002 after a long struggle with lung cancer had ended in defeat. Sean wasn't pleased with the news and he returned to booze in an effort to cope with his feelings of bereavement. Flexatron Sean lived as an alcoholic for the following six years and he quit working out altogether. Nevertheless, the previous champion did not give up hope completely. Sean ultimately got treatment and entered a rehabilitation facility after much coaxing from his buddies. After completing his recuperation, he placed his eyes on winning shows and competed in the 2009 IFBB North American Championship at the young age of 34. Flexatron took first place in the competition and was awarded the prize as a result of their tenacity and drive. This triumph also resulted in him receiving an IFBB Pro card as a result of his efforts. Sean had finally achieved his goal of being a professional bodybuilder after a decade of difficulty. A year later, he competed in his first professional event, the 2010 IFBB Dallas Europa Super Show, which he won. Sean was severely hampered by the increasing level of competition and he finished in 16th position. He, on the other hand, was not going to quit. In 2011, he came to the same stage and outperformed his previous results by a significant margin, finishing an outstanding third. More than that, Sean had qualified for the renowned Mr. Olympia competition, which would be his third consecutive amazing recovery. Sean finished 11th in the Mr. Olympia competition the same year, although he was only getting started in the competition. Flexatron competed in a number of high-profile events between 2000 and 2016, including third place finishes in the Mr. Olympia in 2014 and 2015, among others. However, by 2016, at the age of 41, 
Sean has achieved his biggest accomplishment to date. He managed to finish second in a hotly found Mr. Olympia competition. When fighting, Sean adheres to a rigorous diet in order to maintain his body and present a full package to his opponents. However, he believes in having an off-season to bulk, during which he will not keep track of his calories and will instead make educated guesses about his consumption. He bases his six daily meals on lean proteins, heart-healthy fats, and fiber-rich complex carbohydrates. He said, when it comes to bulking up, I believe that the assumption that you need to have a six-pack should be abandoned. It's something I believe a lot of men struggle with because they're so used to appearing competition ready. According to Sean's eating plan, he would consume the following. The first meal is comprised of one and a half cups oatmeal, 15 egg whites and three entire eggs. Meal 2 consists of chicken, rice and veggies. Meal 3, stick, potatoes and carrots are the main ingredients. Meal 4, lean ground beef and veggies are included. Meal 5, cooked chicken and veggies. Meal 6, protein smoothie made with peanut butter, cinnamon, oats and ice. Sean praises his friends, particularly Lenore Carroll, for assisting him in getting back on the track through one of the most difficult periods of his life. Although Kane Green and Yoni Schamberger have always been his inspiration and primary influences, they have also been tremendously supportive of him from the very beginning. Stanimal was a bodybuilder for a long time and he's often seen along Sean Roden. They have been frequently viewed together and in workout video blogs and media platforms. The documentary Flexatron, which follows Roden's journey to the top of the fitness world and his victory in the Mr. Olympia competition in 2018, also features him in training sessions. The bond between Sean Roden and Stanimal went much beyond what was seen on video. Video. Somebody who did know either of them knew that they were close friends. They have even shared a room with one another before his untimely death. In light of the horrific death of Sean Roden, it suffices to say that Stanley Mal was deeply affected by this event. He lost a sport legend, as we all did. It was not simply his training buddy who was taken away from him as well. Stanley Mal suffered the loss of a good friend. Stanley Mal clearly makes it plain that although his death came as a complete surprise to everyone who knew him, there had been warning indications emerging over the previous two years, which he wishes to emphasize. Stanimal also suggests that Roden may have had a cardiac arrest in 2020, which is very noteworthy. First, he had a lesser silent cardiac arrest, which left him tired and ill, only for it to be followed by a more major heart attack just a few weeks ago. He was taken to the hospital and released. Following this experience, he became more concerned with keeping track of his health. Sean Roden passed dead a year after that, which was a tragedy. The most widely held belief is whether he died as a result of cardiac arrest, despite the fact that it was not formally or professionally confirmed. Given his previous cardiac problems, it would seem that he will have another heart attack in 2020. Though Stanimal is unsure, he believes no autopsy was performed. Despite the fact that that is pure supposition, Stanimal feels that a number of variables came together to produce a type of perfect storm that resulted in Roden's death. As he adds, he was working really hard but he had some kind of pre-existing ailment. He was on his way somewhere, he was exhausted. Stress. It happened late in the evening, which is typical about when a cardiac arrest occurs in people, and he became ill with some kind of illness, which I believe I got as a result result of his illness. And it was difficult also for me who's in good health, so I can't even imagine how difficult it would have been It's some kind of flu. He then went into even more depth regarding the stress issues that had been hanging with Sean Roden throughout the course of the previous two years. To be really honest, there were a multitude of stuff. A fact, it was his case that was dragged out for so long. And further hearing was scheduled for September but had to be postponed due to lack of available staff members. I suppose he also had a falling out with his partner. That was tough because he was someone who was never particularly open about his own issues, his own challenges and that was difficult for him to do. That's why I believe it was particularly horrible since we have discussed a great deal about these things over the previous several months. Just the mere that he was talking about it all so much, I believe demonstrates how much that has been on his psyche. It was unquestionably a source of stress. 
He goes into incredible detail not just on the circumstances of year following eventual death, it's also about how he was commemorated throughout his life. It's a dialogue that might give some answers for sports lovers who are interested in sports. In addition to that, it is a personal story as well as heartfelt memorial to a sportsman who left us all way too early. That was a difficult talk, and we hope that it sheds more light on the guy behind muscle and the sadness of his death as a result of his death. Sean has reminded us that we should never give up on life, no matter how difficult our circumstances seem to be. He recovered from two injuries as well as the loss of his father to being a fitness inspiration. There is one lesson we can learn from Sean's story. It is important important to always accept assistance from those who are ready to provide it. Yanni Schamberger has played a crucial role in Sean's success since taking him under his wing. 